Hello and welcome to today's clean and simple card making video. Today I am going to use these lovely leaf dies to create some leaves. I cut some out of smooth white cardstock but I'm going to do another set because I want two of each but I thought I'd show you how I did it because these leaf dies uh, cut the leaf shapes and they also emboss these lovely veins and you have to run it through your die cutting machine twice to really get the most out of these dies. But I'll show you what I did. So first things first, I cut them as normal. I've got my thick plate, my rubber mat, my cutting plate, then the leaves cutting side up and some smooth white cardstock on top and then another cutting plate. So that cuts the leaf shapes and also partially embosses them you get some of those veiny bits showing up but it's not brilliant so next i'll run it through my die cutting machine with the embossing sandwich so thick plate cutting plate then the rubber mat and then leaves facing down so the cutting and embossing side is facing into the rubber mat and then another cutting plate and then those veins, which you'll see when I take them out, have really embossed nicely. So I hope you can see there the veins that have been embossed on the leaves. I've got five different leaves, two of each. So I've chosen five Distress Oxides in a pastel palette. Not particularly leafy colours, but I'm not worried about that. I've got Spun Sugar, Dried Marigold, Tattered Rose, Victorian Velvet and Scattered Straw. So we'll start with the Tattered Rose on these large leaves and just blend the colour on using my blending brush. This should add colour to the leaf but also bring out the embossing. So for my next colour I'm using sponge sugar on the second largest leaves and now for Victorian Velvet. These leaves I'm colouring with a scattered straw and because they're so small and quite delicate I'm using the sponge dauber to add the colour. And these last leaves I'm going to do in dried marigold. These are a bit more autumnal. So I have here a stitched rectangle made from smooth white cardstock and I want to add my leaves floating in and around. So I'm thinking this for my leafy arrangement. I've got pinkish leaves coming in from the side and the yellowy orange leaves tumbling down from the top left to the bottom right. And once I chop off all the overhang, I'll have a few other bits to add around, around the edge. So everything's stuck down in a preliminary fashion. I'm going to flip it over and then use my long scissors to trim off the overhang. And I'll keep the bits I snip off and see if I can add some more around the edges just to fill in any gaps. There's not going to be a lot of white space on this card, but that's okay. I think I'll add a little bit of this Victorian Velvet Oak Leaf down here. And another bit up here, I've got a little bit of stem from the scattered straw leaf, which I can add here. And a bit more here of this one. I've got a teeny tiny little bit of the orange stalk, so I'm going to add that up there. And I'm thinking I just maybe want a tiny little bit coming in there, maybe a pink stalk. I want to add some shimmery splatters and I want them to be in a colour that is already on there. So I've smushed some dried marigold and I'm going to add some white pearl mixer cosmic pixie powder. I'll add some water to turn that into a shimmery paint. And I'll just splatter that gently on, kind of following the path of the yellow and orange. It's going to go everywhere, but I do want it slightly more concentrated down here. 
I didn't want to waste that lovely shimmery paint so I've mopped it up with a bit of scrap white card and I'm going to give this a little blast in my hair dryer to get things dry. Now I'm going to stick this on my card blank. While I'm doing this I was going to ask if you were going to colour some leaves in non-leafy colours what colours would you choose? What ink colours or paint colours or just general colours would you choose? There we go, I'm liking that. I did think about putting a darker border on, maybe colouring the card blank around the edges with some, say, Victorian velvet. But I like the light and airy feel that having a white border gives this particular card. I don't want it to get heavy. For my sentiment, I'm thinking best wishes. I've got the word best in these small alphabet dies and wishes in this script word die. The word die also has a shadow. So I'm thinking I might cut the word wishes from this. I'm not sure if it's going to be dark enough, but we'll give it a go. So I've got a white shadow or outline and the word wishes there. I'm thinking it's a little bit pale. I'm going to try and darken it slightly with the dried marigold. To bring it out a little bit. See if that helps. I'm not sure if the shimmer will show through. I think that's better and I think it works with this cascade of yellows and oranges in the middle. I will add some more colour to this so that I can cut the best from it as well. Yeah I think it covers up the shimmer and shine but never mind. Could add a bit of dimension to this by cutting another shadow and popping it behind but I think there's plenty on this card already. And I'm going to add the word best backwards with the T first so that I can get it lined up where I want it. Having said that, I've decided to shuffle it all over a little bit because the B wasn't in quite the right place. I'll press all that down with a bit of deli paper. Keep my fingers clean, keep the card clean. I'm tempted to add some glossy accents. So I'm going to give it a go just to give some shine and dimension to the word wishes. I've gone over the edge a bit there, but I can use my tweezers or you can use a cocktail stick or a pokey tool. You can kind of scoop it back up where you want it to be. I may actually do the best as well. I find with glossy accents and crystal glaze and nouveau drops it's always best just to add a small amount and go in if you need more rather than go in with loads and end up with far too much because these things when they dry they leave gloss obviously and you don't want that kind of smeared everywhere if you're looking for a matte finish and if you get in there before it starts to set you can always coax your glaze along if it hasn't quite gone where you want it. Right, I think that card is done. I'm really happy with the way that turned out. I like the colour combination. I like the pinks kind of going down the edge and the oranges and yellows in the middle and the glossy sentiment. Right, I hope you've enjoyed today's video and I hope it's given you an idea or two that you can use in your card making. If it has, please do leave a thumbs up. Let me know in the comments, especially about the colour scheme you might choose. And I will see you back here very soon for another video. Thanks for watching. Bye for now.